Welcome back everyone. Um, in today's video, we're gonna kind of do a few little bug fixes here. there. So uh, let me just show you guys what we're gonna have eventually. So we're gonna add a main menu. Uh, welcome to the main menu. You will now suffer. We have the option to quit, which will just close the menu, the game, uh, or we can play. It will just bring us into our first level. And uh, here we now have gold and HP, and we can just place these wherever we want. And we also will eventually make it so that we can't place it on top of each other or on top of the tower, sorry. So um, another thing is it won't take gold unless I actually place it. So if I can cancel it that way, or if I cancel it by dropping it here, it won't take the gold, etc. And upgrades also cost gold and so on. Um, and the soldiers will have their own HP bars. And obviously there's going to be a, a level finisher kind of where the HP will go down, right? Okay, so let's uh, start with the soldier. So in here, this is actually pretty easy because we already kind of have a progress bar. So let's go here into instantiate. We're gonna go to the uh, red bullet. I'm going to make local, oh, sorry. No, not the red bullet. The, we're going to take the, Red Bullet Tower, I believe, and then make this local, and we're gonna take the progress bar, pop it out, delete this guy, delete the timer, we don't need that. I'm gonna pop the progress bar to the top, zoom in, and we'll just move this little guy here. And for this progress bar, let me just pull out reference. In the script, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to the script, Whoop. if I can select it. We're gonna go to the bottom, we're gonna make it to make sure we don't edit anything. And let's just go out one more time, just in case to this, there we go. And we're just, just gonna copy this over. So we're gonna just take the max value at ready, and we're gonna make it so that it's the get parent health. And then the process value will also be uh, the get parent health, and which is the, just the soldier A, because there's going to be a health always, and that is the progress bar we want it to be. And so now, every time our soldiers spawn, it just has a very simple HP bar. And whenever uh, it shoots, it'll update. Awesome. If you want to tween it, that's up to you. You can tween it as you want, but I'm just going to have it be simple and quick like this. So this works fine. It's, it's not me, but it works. So let's continue on. Next, let's make a main menu. So in our 2D scene, uh, we'll just ma make a node 2D. Let's say main menu. I'm going to save this as main menu. In here, I'm going to instantiate our child main and open. We're going to make it local once again. We're going to take the tile map and then we're going to delete the main. We don't need the rest. We just want the tile map as the background. And then in here, we're going to add a panel. Obviously, this is just uh, something quick and easy for me to do for you guys. Um, it's not pretty. It's not the best, but it's a simple um, main menu that will work for now. And in here, we'll just add a label. For this, we're going to go to theme override, font size. We're going to make it a lot bigger, so up to 200. So we'll move it over here, and I'll kind of center it, actually center it in the panel itself. So I'll move it there, I'll go here, like this. Welcome to the main menu. And then we're going to add two buttons. In this one, this is going to be play. We're going to duplicate it, and this one's going to be quit. This one, we're just going to type in quit. We're going to move it over. And then for the same thing, we're going to go to font size, make it 100. And then play, same thing, down to font size. We're going to make it 100. We're going to make it a little bigger so we can see it. And then in this guy, uh, we'll make it say play. Play. Or we can say start game up to you whatever you want so i think we can yeah make it look like that and then quit we'll make it same size hopefully there we go same size button uh let's actually move it over or make it slightly bigger if you want a good way to actually organize this in fact let's do it now uh there's containers that will probably help that are better you can do a uh, box container h box whatever uh, i can do h box for this uh example i mean just pop and obviously, as you can see, they kind of squish down. So what we're going to do is go to, I think, layout. Here we go. And then we'll make it uh, 400 by 500. No. Let's do 
Actually, let's do 400 for this. And then we'll do 700 for the X. Awesome. And then same thing for here. We'll go to layout. Uh, I think this was 400, I believe. And then this is 700. Oh, 700, sorry. 700. And then for the HBox container, what we can do is just drag this guy over here. Drag it again. And then in our alignment, we can say center. And then theme override. We'll go to constant and we'll just separate it as much as I want. And now I have two buttons. Uh, I actually don't like this. They're kind of big. Let's make it a little smaller um, on the X axis, or on the Y axis. So for this, we'll do like 200. There we go. And now if I kind of push it down, it'll update. So now when I play, nothing's going to happen because I have to set it as the main scene. So in here on our main menu, right click and we can find where is it set as main scene should be able to see this and now when we play he'll set to main scene so there we go now we can start game and quit nothing happens yet because we didn't program anything so let's do that so let's go to both of these and add a built-in script because we don't need a super complex script in our quit this is going to be a little easier so let's do that one first let's go to quit add a pressed connect to pressed uh, play we'll connect that as well on rest. Let me just double check. Ooh, I think. Let me just double check that these are two separate scripts. Okay, play and okay. So for quit, this is one really easy. We can say get tree and quit. Uh, quit. And then for the play, we'll have to say get tree. Um, yeah, blah, 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 blah. No, just get tree and change to file and we will go to, um, there we go. And make sure there's no strings. There we go. So now when we quit, it closes the game. When I play and I say start game, it brings me to this, the game that we started in. Awesome. Um, that's how we add our main menu. Um, I think I'm actually going to end the video there. Um, let me just double check. There's no other bug fixes for now. Nope, that is it for now. Um, I hope you guys under, uh, learned a little bit how to make a main menu, and um, I hope you guys are liking this series. If not, um, let me know what you guys would like to see in the future. Um, I would def I will definitely try to help as much as I can and try to make things that you guys would actually like to see. Um, definitely subscribe. Um, go follow my Twitch. Uh, I've updated it on my main channel. Um, I've also updated my Twitch name, so definitely check that out. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.